What's up, you guys? It's be your boy Scotty, and this is the rant number 20. What's going on, y'all? Um, I told y'all y'all was gonna get another rant, so let's have that. Y'all might just get a third one after the dumb shit that I done seen Stacey Dash say, so I might record that tomorrow, but let's just get into it. So, one of the topics that my um YouTube family, my team Scotty friends, um sent to me was to speak on YouTubers that beef with each other. And it's it's very ironic that somebody sent me that um that topic because we're in the midst of the fallout between the members of the Fresh Collective. So I was very apprehensive about doing this, but I called Sean Bradley, say Sean Bradley um earlier before I went to work today, and um I asked him would it be okay for me to speak on the topic on the situation at hand because you know I don't like to talk about stuff that I really don't know much about, but I did indeed in, in call him just to let him know that the topic was brought to me. Should I talk about it? He said he did not mind. So because um, Sashawn Bradley and Lady Nika are the only two people out the Fresh Collective that numbers that I have, I decided to call Sean because I've known him the longest and I'm the coolest with him. Um, so here's my take on it. Um... Let me just let you know that I am a person of positivity and I'm a person of kindness, so to speak. No matter how my YouTube persona comes off, I am very kind. I'm a very kind person. I really stay in my own little corner. And since I've been on YouTube, I have done nothing but show love to just about everybody. It may be something that I probably missed and didn't know about at first, but you know, it is what it is. Um... I just never really been in the business of being in YouTube beefs. You know what I mean? Um, I will say that I have gathered some cl very close friends on YouTube. And everybody on my close friends on YouTube is probably Justin J, Adrian Expressions, and Jamar84. Those three are my main bitches on YouTube. I love them three to death. They're like my brothers. And, um, you know... I love me some Sashawn Bradley, and I love me some Lady Nika, and I love me some um, Squeaky, Squeaky Jones. Um, I love just about a lot of, I don't remember who all was in the Fresh Collective, but I know they was in it. And um, <coughs> I love all of them that I just called out. Um, it's, it's, it, you know, YouTube, especially Black YouTube, I just feel like there should be like, a you you know like a certain sense of family there and that's what um I always want to build my channel upon like a sense of unity because uh, that's how me and Justin became friends because somebody put us on a on a tweet together and I had never ever heard of Justin before in my life and then I watched one of his videos and I shouted him out and we became friends instantly the same thing with Adrian the same thing with Jamar and Jamar was watching me before I even knew who he was so um, I'm all about um, you know showing that respect and showing that love for another YouTuber that's on the come up or a YouTuber that, that may have bypassed me or anything like I always want to see people grow and do great even if my channel may not be growing at the pace that I want to go I still want to see other people do exceptionally well and the person that has really made me the proudest is Justin because he is doing a damn thing he done been on fucking shade room he done been on the motherfucking world star hip-hop people have known him for the charade thing like he has done a lot of things and I'm very very proud of him and I just love to see I would love to see what else he can go with it so you know it's I just like to see people you know um grow and do other things you know what I mean and when I first started you know somebody gave me a chance you know what I mean like Divalicious Queen 83 she doesn't really post videos anymore but she was one of the first people that ever gave me a chance on YouTube and shouted me out because I love her like I started off watching her Sweet Editions TV, The Scorpion Show, Spoken Reasons, Brian B. I watched them first before I even made my own channel. So when I see people like that and I see other YouTubers on the come up and, you know, I just always want to, like, if I like you, I'm going to give you a chance. Especially if I feel like your content is worth looking at, I'm going to shout you out. And um, it's really fucked up when I see um, black YouTubers beef with each other. And I will say this, you know, during this whole Fresh Collective fallout, 
I didn't have much of an opinion. I just sat back and sipped the tea just like everybody else. I was on Lipstick Alley looking at the um, <laughs> looking at the threads and everything like that. And you know, a lot of us YouTubers, you know, we come for Lipstick Alley a lot. But I will say this. Lipstick Alley is a bit relevant and I felt like this. When my video first got posted on Lipstick Alley, the first thing I said was, I'm on Lipstick Alley, I'm out the hood now. That's what I said. And even though they wanted, even though they ripped some of us for shreds, they poke fun of our imperfections, you know, like at my you know, at my lisp, at my chip tooth or whatever it is, they may poke fun at. I do appreciate the fact that my videos are posted there and somebody is looking at it. You know what I mean? So we can go in on Lipstick Alley all fucking day, but let's just be real. Them posting our videos make us relevant and you should just look at it that way. That's how I look at it. Despite whatever criticism it may come with it, that's what it is. So... I was sipping the tea like everybody else, and I'm just sitting here like, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is all this mess even going on? Like, we should be somewhere together, coming together, and just doing some dope shit and trying to make everybody aware of everybody's channel. You know what I mean? And that's all I've ever tried to do was make people aware of other people's channel. Now, I will say this. Um, with, with this whole drama going on... It probably helped some because I never had I had never heard of Tam G until this whole incident. And I was looking at her video and um at her video that she made about Sean. And I didn't subscribe to her based on that particular video because she made it about Sean because, you know, Sean my boy or whatever, but I liked her personality. So I say, you know, let me just click that subscribe button and, and see what shit about and you know I watched some of her other videos and I liked it so I subscribed to her you know um I subscribed to spilling all the tea I subscribed to Frank White you know what I mean and I've seen Frank White comment on my videos but you know sometimes I be so busy that I just read comments and keep it moving and never click on the name I clicked on the name and realized I know who this person is he been commenting on my videos he been riding for my channel and I never really paid attention to it and see I'm just now starting back to get to the group of making my videos the way I should be making them so it's I kind of feel like shit because I didn't notice and then on top of that Tam G actually commented on one of my older big brother reviews so I kind of feel like shit that I didn't notice them before and you know um I just feel like I think all of it is over now but I do think that this YouTube beef shit should just cease like what the fuck we beefing for you know what I mean um I do feel like if a person um you know, makes a video about you, you know what I'm saying? You are inclined to respond and make a video about them back. But I feel like if you have a genuine friendship um, with someone, you can call them if you got their phone number or text them and let them know what the motherfucking issue is. Because let me just tell y'all, me and Justin are good friends. And just because we're good friends don't mean, you know, friends have their disagreements. And me and Justin have had disagreements, but none of you motherfuckers know. And we have called each other, we have texted each other about whatever disagreement we have had before. So, but like I said, none of y'all don't know about that because that's none of y'all's business. You know what I'm saying? And so, what I do respect about people is their realness and you know, someone that's authentic. You know what I mean? I just don't respect people that um, will be in your face and say that they love you. Then the next minute, they assume shit about you and then try to tell folks to unsubscribe from your channel and do bullshit like that. I don't respect people like that. You know what I mean? I respect somebody that's real and upfront with they shit. You know what I mean? Like, 100% them, whether it's positive or negative, as long as you your damn self, I feel like I can respect the bitch for being them like a hoe. People can call folks a hoe all day, but if I, if, but if you acknowledge the fact that you a hoe and you like to fuck a random amount of niggas, I can respect you for just owning up to the fact that you a hoe. You know what I mean? That's the type of, that's the type of shit I like. I like realness. You know what I mean? And a lot of those people that was involved in the Fresh Collective, I actually like them, subscribe to their pages, like Erica De Niro and Nate Love. Um, I don't know if Spilling All the Tea was a part of it, but I'm subscribed to his page. Um, Lady Nika, Sayshawn Bradley, Squeaky Jones. Um, I don't know if James Caldwell was a part of the Fresh Collective or not, but I know he was affiliated with them in a, um, some, some, somehow, some way, I believe. Um, 
I don't know if Frank Wright was a part of it, but I am now subscribed to his channel and I will be supporting him more. I mean, I can't say that this beef that the Fresh Collective had was a negative thing and it has made people look at certain channels differently because of the fact that they was brought into the mess. It's, it, for some, it may have hurt them more than it has helped them. You know what I mean? Because it's sometimes when when you're involved in a bunch of shit, it can make people look at you a certain way and make people change their minds about you and say, the person that I've been watching ain't really the person that I thought I was watching. You know what I'm saying? I don't never want no bitch to come to that conclusion about me because I am me all day, every day. Um, I'm brash. I'm a little bit rude at times. I'm kind and I can be a bitch sometimes. And I'm a bit, um, I can be a bit dramatic sometimes too. But at least you know that because you see it in every video that I made. So, I just want to say to to the folks of the Fresh Collective, I mean, I just feel like um, that was a group situation that went all sorts of wrong. And now that it's over with, I just feel like if some of you want to continue to remain cool, do that. But if some relationships are just damaged for the very good, then let it be damaged for the very good. Just move forward. No more shade throwing. No more mess slinging. No more shit no more shit popping. I just feel like y'all should just move on and just do you. Um, it is what it is. Um, me personally, I don't look at anyone differently because nobody did anything to me out there group. So I really, um, you know, I just didn't like seeing it. I just thought that it was crazy to see a bunch of YouTubers um, dealing with YouTube beef. And like I always say, I always stay right there. In my little in my little corner in Mississippi, down here in Mississippi, I stay in my little corner down here in the in the, in the Magnolia State. I stay in my motherfucking lane. I don't be involved in no shit. I might sip and see like Phaedra Parks, but I don't get in it. I don't get involved in no mess. That's just that's just my personal thing. Like if you like if you like the mess, you like it. The only mess I like is the mess on TV. I don't like drama. I hate it. I hate drama. I've always hated drama. Like. Mm -mm. I'd rather watch drama on TV than to deal with drama in real life. I hate that shit. So, um, you know, like I said, I think that everybody should just move on. Focus on building your channels or whatever. And um, just continue to do you. Um, but like I say, um, I'm not here for choosing sides because I don't pick sides in no situation. Special situation I don't really know much about. I just thought it was ridiculous to have all these people, you know, this whole little thing that obviously was going well to end in such a manner. And now people like Sean and Lady Nika are now regretting the fact that their names were attached to it. And I feel like they should because some people are now looking at them with the stank eye. You know, they're giving them the crusty look now because, you know, when you deal with crusty shit, you're a crusty motherfucker, at least in some people's eyes. So I understand why they feel some kind, some type of way because their names are now attached to the shit show. You know what I mean? But you know, it is what it is. So um, that's really my personal opinion on it. I just say drop the beef and do you and, you know, don't do more damage to your channels than you already have, you know. Got people looking at you crazy, and I don't, you know, I don't like that for my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Even for Justin, I don't like nobody looking at him crazy, or, or Adrian, I don't nobody looking at him crazy, or Jamar, I don't want nobody looking at him crazy. So I just want everybody to just do them and continue to grow their channels because a motherfucker like me trying to grow mine again. You know what I mean? But you know, like I, like I always say, I always treat this YouTube shit like a hobby. You know what I mean? Because I work a full time job and I don't have the time to to devote to it the way that I want to. So, you know, I'm just trying to work and do me and move the fuck out of my mama house. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do right now. So, um, that's all I got to say. Um, you guys, that's all I got to say. Um, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Sister. And I'm going to start back utilizing my Twitter a little bit more often. Follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by underscore nature. Um, my Snapchat is little, no, not little, lil, L I L dot Scotty26. That's my Snapchat name. I always act a fool on Snapchat. I love it. Um, I haven't done anything with my Facebook fan page. I think I might just remove that shit because I don't even utilize it anymore. But I think I should do much better by it. Um, you know what I mean? I think, um, I just want a community for 
all of my team Scotty friends to you know chat and you know get a chance to contact me personally and do things like that you know what I mean and um that's all I gotta say um my next rant video will probably be about Stacey Dash I'm gonna talk about that bitch I'm really gonna talk about it cause I ain't never like that bitch but other than that you guys that's all I got to say you guys and peace be motherfucking still I'm out of here y'all peace